In this video, we are going to enroll a company-owned Android device with personal use enabled. This enrollment type is called COOP or for Android VPOCD and is available only for Android 11 or higher. To enroll an Android COOP device, the device must be reset to factory default first. The device can be enrolled through our user portal done by the user themselves. For this method, we recommend that you use Android Zero Touch and you can watch our Android Zero Touch video for more information on this. But for now, let's have a look at the enrollment process without Zero Touch for an Android Cope device. We are going to log into our user portal and click on Enroll New Device Now. We now need to select our operating system which is Android, and select the enrollment type, um, how we want to set up our device. We select, I want to use my corporate device for business and private purposes and keep the data between them separated. And then we simply need to follow the instructions given here. It says, Important. This enrollment method is only suppo supported by devices running Android 11 or later. So you need to note that um, to enroll an Android COPE device. We need to make sure that our device, as I said, um, has been reset to factory defaults and we need to power our device and wait for the welcome screen to appear. Now, what we need to do is to tap six times on the screen to um, initiate the QR code um, scanning, which I am going to show you now on the device. So I've tapped six times and now I'm scanning this QR code. I've scanned the QR code and now I need to connect to my Wi-Fi, which I'm going to do real fast. Now that I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, the device says that it belongs to my organization and I need to proceed. And we now need to set up a work profile. We now need to log in with our um, password that we have set before for our user portal. We need to verify our organization and proceed with the enrollment. Now I can add a personal account to my device and I'm just going to type that in real quick. I've logged into a personal Google account now and just need to agree to the terms and conditions. Agree again and now I can set a password for my device. I have done that. And I can proceed. Now my phone is getting ready. And now we are all set up and click on finish. And here is our device. Now let's have a look at our user portal. We can see our device right here. It's an Android device. We can see um, the enrollment, the management mode, the enrollment type. We could uh, send a lock screen, change our device password or um, reset to factory defaults.